Hey, you like that new intro, don't you? Welcome to Really Rubbish <laughs> Racing. This is the Really Rubbish Racing Touring Car Championship Season 2, uh, Round 6. Yeah, in Sweden, Gothenburg City Arena. I'm Alex, I'm back here with Adam and Jay as before. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. Hello. There we go, Hello. the calendar. <laughs> Rounds 5 and 6. Um, postponed, actually due to um, a serious uh, area of high pressure lag over the circuit last week so <laughs> we've waited it out and we're here again this week um, reversed grid top eight cars reversed from the the first race and what what a first race it was was it Ol Oli K taking another win and uh, Blairy second um, do we think we're going to see more of the same this time out? Ooh, we'll have to see, won't we? We shall see. But um, I think there's certainly going to be a lot of action. Certainly if the first race is anything to go by, there'll be plenty of thrills and spills as uh, we wait for the cars to line up on the grid now. I think hey. the marshal at the top left of the screen, I think he thinks there's going to be a lot of action as well. He's warming his, <laughs> he's he's warming his muscles up. <laughs> he's warming his muscles up for waving that flag constantly. Getting the wrist action in. A couple of, a couple of do not starts to report. Unfortunately, Blair, who uh, finished second in the first race, won't take the start, and neither will Tommy B, who finished fifth in the end. Uh, very unfortunate because there's two guys that could easily be on for a win. Um, but now we won't see it. So a couple of clear spaces on the grid there. And Bukoy in the power Volvo on pole position alongside him is one of the Kaibatsu cars. And from here I can't quite see the number and I forget which way round their red and white paint jobs are. I believe that is light on that. I believe that's that is Lynn with the, the, the red uh, on the right hand side of the car. And his teammate by Junior getting into one of the spaces left by one of the absent cars. As Lynn dispatches of Bukoy. Oh, big oh, pile up there. Look at that. And that's one of the Blair One cars as well. That's Ollie Kay, that's our race winner. Come on, hit me, side. I don't know. <laughs> so we are getting caught oh. up in the action there. Yeah. By Junior, not having a terribly good start, been spun around there. Race Pro. Again, involved in an early... Oh! Oh, that's Collect messy. Collected by Racing Colour. And that's... Down for one as well. <laughs> so, barely half a lap into the race, we've already had at least six, six cars spin or in an involved in an incident. Mm -hmm. Dan finally finds a gear and gets going there. Back to somewhere near the front, third, Smithy, defending from his uh, fellow Chevrolet driver, but not not in the same team. Lavery Rug. Smithy, Smithy actually driving alone this race. His his teammate Shelty not here. Um, do we do we know why that is, Adam? Um, no, we don't. It's a bit of a mystery. I I normally what you would say is you caught up with Shelty earlier on in the week, but that's just not been the case. Oh, big. Oh, oh dear. That's a bit messy. Um, yeah, so... Um, oh. Just okay. like his livery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been a weird one. Um, I, I tried to speak with um, team owner and driver Smithy about Shouty, but he was very, very reserved about um, what's gone on with the young uh, number 16 driver. Not sure if we'll tonight. see him for the rest of the. Yeah, not sure if we'll see him for the rest of the season. Which is a shame. Oh, a really? Well loved driver. So funding issues? Do we do we reckon possibly not bring enough money to that Black Cats team? Um, no, the team are pretty loaded. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Ray Ban, so you know. I guess they're raking in plenty of money with their, uh, their overpriced glasses for sure. <laughs> yes. On board here with Lynn. 
leading the race in his BMW, hounded by P.Y. James in the Fender Scirocco there. Now, Lynn, Lynn caused quite a queue in the first race, but for, for a long time he managed to keep people behind him, and he's got quite a queue forming behind him again. Lovely gaggle of cars. Gaggle. It's the collective term for cars is. Not, not a fleet. Oh, and he's had a, oh, he's had a hit from um, P.Y. James. Oh, P, P.Y. James. Not, uh, not been having the best of, Not been having the best of times at this circuit as P.Y. James. has been struggling with uh, getting the brakes on in the right places. And that drops Lynn right down and out of, out of his lovely lead that he was having there. But he got to lead three laps at least. But that unleashes these three cars. We've got Smithy leading Flavory Rug leading AGOK who's back up the front after his first race collision with uh, Dan taking him right down to the yeah, back these, these three drivers have well over 600 races between them so very experienced drivers alright let's hope to see some very clean racing between all of them then certainly make out for Not a good, like that. good battle <laughs> And once again, it's Dan and uh, Designer Soup <laughs> together on track, <laughs> literally closer mm. than close can be. I'm sure we'll see uh, a real blossoming relationship by the time uh, by the time this series is over at the end of the season. I think they're both envious of each other's paint jobs. Envious of, <laughs> envious of the paint jobs. Yeah, well, I think they're, they're trying to swap the paint. They're trying to swap each other's liveries over, I believe. So they're uh, always banging into each other. The uh, the colour racing car looks like it has oh. been freshly painted. Master Old oh, Wolf having a no, getting a punt up the back of the. <laughs> and this that? is for position as well. James. Oh, oh he's very messy, and Dolly K as well getting involved. Master and Wolf, some this brilliant on-board shots here. Amateur. Oh. End it now. <laughs> Quite why they bothered putting these barriers there, I don't know. They're all going to be missing by the end of this weekend anyway. Maybe we'll come back next year and it'll just be an open car park and the drivers <laughs> can uh, go wherever they fancy. They can drive into the liquid. <laughs> Lolly K putting a pass here on uh, Master on Wolf. Wolf doing really well this race, mm -hmm. showing uh, showing some good pace, and I think he's gradually getting to grips with the car. Obviously, Jay, same car that you drive. Is it is it the same car for all each teams, or do you uh, I don't know buy them from different dealerships and they got like different wheels on or something, or are they all the same? <laughs> um, I. Well, I, I believe that um, the Black Cats and the Javery cars are bought from the same um, same facility and the same company. Um, Master Ront Wolves, mm. I'm not too sure about. Could be... Um, probably bought in Canada. Yeah, most probably bought in Canada, yeah. More, a more authentic Chevrolet, let's say, if it's, if it's come from that region. All, uh, all the cars left-hand drive in this championship, though, so... Doesn't matter whether they were bought in the UK or Canada or wherever, they're all left hand drive. Which is handy for our cameramen when they're setting up the cameras in the onboard shots that we're getting newly to this race. And uh, who do we have here? This is Rat on Edge. Rat, rat on Edge. In the nice and dry now this time. Yes, he's gone further <laughs> than the past. Oh, Dan Thorne there, and he's hit. Is that it's racing colour ahead of him that he's hit? Yeah, it was designer suit, more, uh, it more is. paint swapping between the two of them. Struggling Dan to turn a little bit around there. there. He's got a bit oh. of damage and... And Flobberdob just ploughing on through. <laughs> Why is he going the wrong way? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <It does. laughs> the leaders. I think they... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but they are out of the way for the leaders at the least. Oh. He's on soup, desperately trying to find the gear there by the looks of it. He can't reach the yeah, stick. Like he can't reach the um, stick. 
<laughs> He's finally found a forward gear. <laughs> Doesn't matter which gear. Let's have a look at what happened. Danthorn getting a little bit ambitious up the inside there, spinning designer super round. But that yeah. seems to take all oh, right on edge, facing the wrong way. <laughs> Thankfully, he should. If he can't get that restarted, he should be able to be dragged out of there through the uh, nice gap in the barrier. So Oli K up to sixth now from the back of the grid after his first corner uh, slip Ooh. with I think racing uh, designer soup. Sorry, in the colour racing car. Almost collecting P Y James there as well at the uh, at the first hairpin. P Y James looks as if he's been collecting everything else as well. <laughs> And flubbered up there in the red car just going out of shot and with no bumper I think the offenders are going to have a pretty hefty repair bill at the end of this weekend certainly if they go home with uh, not many points or prize money and Paul Wismithy here lovely, uh, lovely helmet design very reminiscent of Shankala Fisichella just in really rubbish racing colours <laughs> do we know if that was his own uh, own design or I, th I believe it was a um, just a, whatever he could design on Photoshop um, with his lack of skills, and that's what came out. <laughs> <laughs> An off-the-shelf special. <laughs> but he's leading the race with it, so that's the most important thing. Yeah. He's not pulling away from the the, uh, the two guys behind him either. No, he's not. As we cut back to. Battle four. That by by Junior and Lynn, you were James and Holly K. So this is for what fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Yes, it you're is. right there, Alex. Thank you, graphics. You turned up at just the right time, as if you knew <laughs> when people would need to know where drivers oh. were in the race. Of course, now it's wrong because P.Y. James outbreaking himself and is now seventh. Uh -huh. It's not going to stop him, though. That man is on fire. <laughs> literally, uh, not, li <laughs> not literally. Not quite. <laughs> Having a look down the side of Pike over an overtake. Risky. Was there a little tap there? Well, Junior going a little wide, but then that's allowed P.Y. James back on almost equal terms. You go on board with him. Tough. Gonna be tough. Oh. Managing to take that place, but he's got it. Oh, oh. He's, yeah, he's run too wide. Oh, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie K appears back on front. the left there. Must have been the old switcheroo. Yeah, <laughs> the old cut back. Cut back inside. Isn't that a haircut? <laughs> that's a <laughs> cut back inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not only a champion racing driver, but master all things haircut. <laughs> oh, look at that helmet. It's like lava. Beautiful. That's amazing. Oh, I never thought I'd say this, uh, but Flavory Rug has a lovely helmet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and with anyway. that lovely helmet he is uh, second behind the other lovely helmet of Smithy <laughs> if he's still not pulling away these three cars near enough equal for pace as we take a look at AJOK's purple helmet and the <laughs> <laughs> these on board cameras really showing some good uh, really showing the helmet designs and the overalls off so if any any of these drivers are still racing around in their uh, standard stig uniforms they might want to yeah might want to get something that shows themselves off a bit better smart themselves up a bit on this off the rack affair is that um does that sponsor say um flow poo on top of AJ Co's <laughs> helmet not heard of that one flow poo I believe it says I believe it says Flow Pod. Oh. Very, uh, very good self-contained uh, breathing apparatus fan for uh, powered air suits, <laughs> asthmat suits, the like. Uh, you know. Oh, 
Google it, you know. Oh, and Dan with a hard impact there with the wall. Coming out of the far chicane. Oh. Thankfully the wall made of <laughs> candy floss and it didn't cause too much damage. Well, there's a bit of a, bit of a wiggle there. Let's take a, just take a moment to notice the, the roof design on Dan's car there. Mm. Very, very unique. That's grand. <laughs> Ollie K now, how Ollie K. Lynn. What's this he's for? Is this for uh, fifth? Certainly showing his worth, isn't he? Is uh, not just running at the front, but can run right down as well. Here he is. See, he's he's not he's not got himself a nicely stitched um, racing suit yet, or a fancy painted helmet by the looks of it. He looks like he's in bandages more than a race suit. <laughs> like he's had a very <laughs> very <Mummified>. bad crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's brought out of his tomb once a week. <laughs> pharaoh of the uh, pharaoh of the asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Dario Franchitti. Oh no, Dario <laughs> Franchitti. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was. Unfortunately, uh, Dario race. not able to race because of his injuries sustained in the. Last race of the IndyCar season last year, so that's probably not him. Similar target sponsorship, though. Either that or it's just some fancy googly eyes on the back of uh, <laughs> E.Y. James's helmet there. Must have, seems to have a leak in his uh, air conditioning as well. All of the tyre smoke off that BMW making its way into the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to make a move here? Oh, oh no. Is James. He makes some sort of move. Done it again. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. That's the front. And the front three still together. Flavory oh, Flavory out right himself there. there. Is that let AJK through? It has indeed. Got him equal. A Chevy's good in the straights, though. I think he'll have to back out of that one for turn one. You're right there, Jay. Jay. Giving him no quarter. I doubt he's going to give up, though. You know, you'll see. No, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll crash through the first chicane. The first chicane <laughs> is that not where the leaders are at the moment? Oh. <laughs> God, that was. Close. Oh, sorry, Cliff. I've just, I've just seen what's uh, written on Kimster Magnum's helmet. Oh, I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. <laughs> oh, look oh, at that! that. Is incredibly close. That's tighter than a. Oh, I won't finish that, but it's tight. <laughs> it's tighter than something Kimster would describe something tight as. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the three battling leaders all. Managing to fit through the car width gap that he <laughs> left between himself and the barrier. <laughs> Ollie K still hounding the living daylights out of this BMW. Lynn driving a very wide car there, although Ollie's no. now managed to find a gap. Commentator's curse, is it? Maybe not. If Lynn can know that get BMW, a good drive out say, of the corner, she does. Look at him, leaving him for dust. Pulled out several car lengths on down that straight. But Ollie's looks like he's got a much oh, better set up car. That's impatient, Ollie. Thankfully concedes the place back to Lynn and they carry on their way. <laughs> Can someone tell Ollie that White is, is just not in the season at the moment? <laughs> it's bang off trend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drifting! Design a big hit into oh, crashing! Bye, Junior. P.Y. James again. Oh, God. Fuck, I've done it again. Oh, man, I should stop racing. This is silly. 
Oh, apologies for that bad language, people. Sorry about that. Yeah, he did say the S word. Silly. <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> three wide into the first corner. P.Y. James are on the radio announcing he should retire. But he's still going. I don't think it's quite that... Uh, quite that bad yet, James. Back with Ollie and Lynn. Oh, was that... Was that lag or was that a bit of... Uh... Was that a bit of contact there? Or was it the BMW just getting its tyres a bit hot? Uh, either a tap from behind or a lot of oversteer. But they're both still pointing in the correct direction and in the order Lynn's they were gonna in. Have, Lynn's going to have his line all wrong through turn one. And it's going to open it up for Ollie. No, nope, not quite. Ollie using that barrier again. Uh, there will be a lot of blue paint on that barrier. Is PY James is going to have another go. And again oh, he's hit. Um, oh, what a mess. Oh, f now I've just done it. F yeah, I actually might retire. Oh, God, this is carnage. F now, I am retiring. That is pathetic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> P.Y. James apologising there and... Uh, Parking his car up in the garage as he speaks. So that's him out of the race, voluntarily. For the greater good of everyone involved, I think. It's fair <laughs> to say. It's, it's been a strange one for him in this race. After, well, second round at Imola. Took that fantastic win um, with you chasing him hard, Shay. Um, what do you think's happened tonight? Today? Uh... I, th I think it could be you may just dislike the track um, I know I certainly don't uh, rate it as one of my favourites um, it, it could well be that he just does, doesn't like the track and uh, yeah it could just be not focusing quite as hard if, you know if it's a track you don't particularly like it can um, affect your mood and um, yeah maybe he's just not thinking straight and Making plenty of contact with Bai Junior there and thought, right, that's it, I've had enough. <laughs> well, that's his fourth race in a row where he's not going to score any points, so having, having scored points and grabbed a win. Oh. Right, coming up to all these people at the hairpin. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> Smithy there making his intentions and his feelings felt. <laughs> he is leading the race. Um, he's made it past those guys all right. A couple of cars ahead, but AJK still right in his tail, look. This is going to be a cracking end to the race. But we've now lap 24, so we've got six, six, seven, seven laps left. And these guys are going to go down to the wire, I'm sure of it. Back markers again. Great, Very great in-car shot here, see how... See how little room there actually is between these barriers when you've got a view like this. This is fantastic. Smithy's car's uh, throwing out quite a bit of tyre smoke there. I'm sure AJK is okay. going to be taking note of that. Uh, this could get interesting. This is AJK's teammate, oh. Bukoy. Next up to lap. Hopefully, he'll let them through cleanly. We're going to see some team orders here. I'm going to pull out the way before the... He's off the track. Smithy dives one way. And he's gone oh. wide. A little tap between the two of them. Is this... Is that AJK okay through? He is. For now. Whoa. Great pass on that part of the track as well. Opportunistic, I think be a good adjective there. Great stuff from AJK okay there. On board now, so he's got six laps just to keep it pointing in the right direction. Here comes Smithy though, flashing lights. Forever, he's probably got a flashing button in there, isn't he? He's, he's not flicking a switch, he's just got a single button that flashes the lights, I'm sure of it. <laughs> we see it so often from him. Do you think he's flashing them lights through annoyance? Probably just 
Well, he just gets kicks out of it, I should think. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a game to him. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, big car Kimsters. again. It's a game of dodgems for Kimster Magnum. He's still going, though, and you can only score points in this championship if you finish the race, so... You know, with such a high attrition rate at uh, this kind of circuit, Kimster decided to stick with it. There's the lights. Avery Rugg's still there in third. Dropping off a bit, though. Do we think his tyres have gone off? Quite possibly. There was a lot He's of smoke a... earlier on, wasn't there? Is Ollie finally getting past Lynn? He does. Nailed it. Shoves him, shoves him a little wide at turn four. Gets the job done. Although Lynn's oh. up the inside. Oh! Tips up there from the barriers. Tips. It's Ollie in some kind of Jim Carner spin through the uh, <laughs> through the tight chicane. There it was very impressive to uh, keep that going, especially a front-wheel drive car. You're right there, Alex. Oh dear. Is that that Smithy following AJ OK? That's not the way to get the lead back. No. <laughs> Doesn't seem to cost him too much time though. Ooh, a bit of a corner cut there at turn two. Shouldn't provide too much of an issue, so long as he's not gaining too much time doing so. I'd say that uh, that Chevrolet's getting a little bit leery now. Now that he's had to relinquish the lead. Oh, yeah. sideways there through the fast chicane. Getting, um, yeah. I think his tyres, yeah, were, were have, have gone long gone, and you know he he was just helped out when he was in the lead. It's just inevitable. But Are you okay? We know very quite smooth on his tyres. Yeah. Smooth in his driving style, which lends lends itself to keeping good grip in the tyres later on in the race. Pull that a little bit of a gap now. And to Dan Thorne pressure in tenth. on with Lynn. And look who's behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Designer soup. These guys have had a a tow rope tied between them for the entire weekend. Oh, and Lynn's... That guy got car sideways, that I saw that. That was Lynn. He'd, he'd lost it coming out of the chicane. Hopefully we'll see a replay of that at some point. Those curbs through there are quite bumpy, and all the drivers are using them and know the dangers. But it uh, doesn't make it any less risky on the sausage-type sleeping policeman curves that they've got out there around the back of the warehouses. Usually they're to trip up forklift trucks, but <laughs> none of those this weekend. He's on a soup getting all switched up over those very curbs, whacking the barriers a few times. All of his wing mirrors still attached. Drifting! A lot of sliding around Epic there. drifting here. Ken Block would be proud. <laughs> Bukoy and uh, By Junior. Close proximity once again. Oh! Oh! oh we got an U He's upside down. We have a UDAOF. Let's have a look at that again. <laughs> Big hit whilst overtaking Kimster, the, uh, the back marker, getting it all wrong. Slicing the uh, slicing the Kabutsu car sideways and flipping it over. We do hope he's all right, but whilst human life is important, an AJOK <laughs> victory would be a very special thing indeed. <laughs> and we're halfway around the final lap, and it looks like we might have one for the first first time in a good six months or so, if not longer. Looks like his neck's going a bit under the G-forces that this wonderful Volvo <laughs> Well, he doesn't exercise, you see, so, you know. So if he's still flashing it. his lights, the chequered oh. flag. 
bit late. He's eventually waved. <laughs> a bit late, but I think it counts. I think he uh, thought man. Smithy was winning, so uh, was ready to wait for him. <laughs> I think it could well be the same flagman that they had at the Chinese Grand Prix. <laughs> Which, of course, uh, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and that's, I can't remember. And that's Dan Thorne. He's <laughs> lost out on the last points position to rival re designer soup. What a shame. Bit of his own doing though, got into the side of uh, Mr. Flobberdog on the final turn there, waited up for him, and uh, the Astra came through to nag that final point. Or snag that final point. You can't nag a point <laughs> if you want more. Well, that was a. Go, oh, why can't I have more points? <laughs> that was a great result for HAOK. How do you think he's feeling inside that cockpit, Alex? I think he's probably throbbing with joy. Oh, you bet. He's exploding with excitement. He's probably bashing that purple helmet in in, in <laughs> celebration. <laughs> hey, I got points. Oh, as we hear from Wolf, who's grabbed his first points of the season. Very well done for him. Where did he finish? We'll find out. He finished eighth. There's confirmation. AJK first in the Power Pole Star Volvo. Smithy second and Flavory Rug third. So a couple of Chevrolets. Ollie K climbing up to fourth, just off the podium, 40 seconds behind, but very well done for him from uh, what effectively was last place at the end of the first lap. So then we've got the first of the two lap down runners, Mr. Flubberdob, uh, doing well to get into ninth. Designer Soup, as we said, taking that final point position of Dan Thorne after two races of long battling. Kimpson Magnum finishes again, four laps down, but finishes and quite a few DNFs and DNSs, um, which is a shame to see. I think we've got all the cars in the pit lane now. Uh, Kim's just going for a little ride somewhere, not sure yeah, where not he's sure off where. to. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, that DNS in the second race really hurts Blairy, but Oli K not capitalising on it as he could. Now uh, Eight points between them at the top of the table. Smithy and Flavory Rug maintain their third and fourth. AJK climbs right up to fifth with his win. So there we have the first of the independents, Race Pro for Monolith. Um, his closest rival, Designer Soup. A uh, couple of points back. Um, and the <laughs> final screen with people with no points or very few points. Who are they? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> yeah. Team's Championship, Blair One continue to absolutely stride away with the. Uh, with the championship at the moment, well ahead of Javery in second. Power have climbed to third, thanks to a good showing here. It's interesting to see that the Black Cats have 55 points, quite apt for their team. Um, and here we have Colour Racing leading the independent trophy standings, uh, just by a slender list of margin. And uh, as we look at a lovely landscape of some kind of old, old wooden ship and some kind of new looking building that looks like a new ship uh, we'll say thank you thank you very much for watching and we hope you join us uh, next time for our trip across the Atlantic to mid Ohio. thank you to Adam and Jay thank you guys thanks thank Alex. you there we go see you next time bye